Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to prepare long-term annual rainfall map using ArcGIS for whole world. Type here CRU data in Google. Then your first link, click this link. Here the data and click this local copy. Click here, then go to CRU, this link main gated data CRU TS click here then here the all the variable precipitation temperature I'm going to show precipitation so click here precipitation now there there are various range 1901 to 2020 1901 to 1910 this way I'm going to download this one last option 2011 to 2010 p.dat.nc data so this is a net city of data click it uh, it will take few minutes it is about 18.4 mb so now open your arc map okay download is completed so show in folder right click here and extract here our net city of data dot nc that's the net city now I have the multi-dimensional tool click here then make net city of raster layer now browse your folder location Here, next day, open it. Variable that's in precipitation x longitude y latitude output layer precipitation. Here, the band dimension band dimension should be time because this is a time series data. So now click OK. Previously, I have posted how to prepare annual rainfall data and one, one of my friends requested me to prepare a long-term rainfall map. So that's why I am preparing now. So here the all the band, you can find here 120 band because it's a 10 year data. So now open your study area map here right click and zoom to layer this one now right click here go to data and export data now choose data frame extension current okay so here choose the file location for youtube okay i'm creating a new folder long term annual info this way you can also prepare precipitation uh, temperature and others variable same way pre layer that's when rainfall all bands CRU TS data so Format is tip, save it. And would you like to add exported data? Yes, you can add, no problem. And remove the previous one. Now, we need to composite this band. So, go to data management tool. Here the raster. Raster, you can find raster processing. Raster, then raster processing and composite band. Click it. Now your input data, click here, and my folder drive D, and YouTube, rainfall, long term rainfall, so here my long term annual rainfall, double click this sign here, and add it, select first band, press the shift key, 
and select the last then and add it. Now change the path. Click here. Again folder D A2 long term rainfall. Rainfall all went. Composite. So save it and click OK. Now here my all band, composite band, so no need previous version. So now here the special analysis tool here, then select local and cell statistics, click it. Select composite band now, this one, and sense output raster, the info, sum, 2011 to 2020 and save it and overlay statistics I have the sum that's mean I want to sum all the month now click OK so no need previous version so here my sum all the month now here map algebra click this map algebra the raster calculator and rainfall this for 10th year so i'm going to divide it into 10 because it is 10 year data and here rainfall sum now it is average average save it click ok so no need to be as well so now go to conversation tool here i'm going to from raster to point so input raster that's when the info level is field value and this is a point data so frs the info 2011 2020 point data okay and save it and click ok so here my point data no need previous one now last task right click here and go to data frame properties make it utm position click ok now right click Go to data, export data, that's when data frame. Select this data frame and point data. This is a projected point data. Point projected. Save it. Click OK. Yes. So here properties. It is also projected. So, so now here the interpolation click IDW input point features that's when our point data here this one click it value field that's when grid code go to open attribute tool see here the actual rainfall data here grid code so you should select grid code here instead of point data and you can change the output raster path like uh, annual rainfall Rainfall FRS IDW and save it. And output cell size, you can change your output cell size according to your needs. I'm going to change it to 30. And environment processing extension, that's when our basin area, the other basin. And here the raster processing, raster analysis, mask, the other basin. So click OK and click OK. It's a very large area, so it will take some time. But for rainfall, clicking is best method for rainfall interpolation. But it will take 
more time that's why i am going to show in idw because idw take less time very less time than kg if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment below if you want any video then you can ask me i'll try to prepare it this is my and all the info map long term and all the info map the final terms go to this layout view and you can change also the setting face paint setup as landscape will be better for this area just increase it click this full extent okay now insert table legend at the annual length one you can do one thing you can change this classes at the default nine class you can change to five level features format level number decimal zero click ok uh, you can classify at this way equal interval change the you can change color low rainfall that's when red high rainfall that's when blue color now right click again go to properties style now let's select this one layer name you can increase the font size 14 okay now see the layer, layer name you can change the layer name here from here annual rainfall annual average rainfall 2011 to 2020 apply in mm i should write the unit so Okay, now you can do one thing if you just a person converted graphic, then right click, ungroup it. Okay, now just delete this one, this one, select all this value, and again group it. So you have the legend now, insert text option, FRS annual rainfall here right click properties in mm 2011-2020 you can change the size from here this is in, in default 10 change it change symbol increase the size 14 make it bold yes yes this look like okay okay now let's change it in order to sense again select all do it so here the insert button again not arrow select this not arrow increase the size place it here insert scale bar kilometer okay you can also format this scale at the kilometer you can write instead of kilometer kimi okay or you can just drag it Undead. Okay. Now I want to increase little bit here. One nine. So if we increase, type at eight. Let's check it. 
increase little bit so 7 ok now take this pen place it here ok everything is ok now you can draw this grid new grid then next 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 finish apply now go to properties do not show ticks or line For interval one degree two degree so it should be better to give two degree for x axis and in y axis one degree is okay at the level increase the size left level orientation vertically left and right apply ok and apply ok ok so now final task the file option paste and pin setup pin preview click it so everything is okay so now file export map to export in my youtube then long term then file here and resolution you should change the resolution to 400 dpi it's, it will be better long term and more rainfall the other basin save it Now check it D eighty long term and all info PNG for it. Here are my maps. Hope you are enjoying this tutorial. See you in the next video.